Good morning, everybody. It is 9 13 19. I wasn't going to post nothing today. There's a there's a devastating, devastating news in the evangelical world. Some striking testimonies of uh, a major evangelical leader in our country who is denouncing his theology. It is ta It went viral. It is going viral. Uh, it's going to expose a lot of things, which I have letters saying that I'm going to, I have letters saying that I'm going to get ready to shift and sift, but I'm going to begin in my church. This is going to be a double-edged sword because you're going to see people that are going to come up and say stuff about him. And see, there's only one judge. He's the judge. But I w I'm, I'm devastated over it. But I have words that said that this was going to happen. I I I, I did put I did write something in the Esther Journal for. This is a letter for the Esther Company. You women, you know who you are. You know. And if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> Was that a song? <laughs> okay, sorry. I just make myself laugh sometimes. Sorry about that. Um, if you don't know, now you know. That you carry something, okay? And you wear something. You know, okay, clothing, okay. But there's a spiritual covering. I know what it is, and so do you, if I could just explain it to you. When you when you wake up in the morning, you have a choice what wardrobe you're going to put on. You can put, and the wardrobe begins here. You can say, I'm going to have a bad day, blah, 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 blah. Then you're going to have one. Well, you know why? You know. You created it. You spoke it. You said it. We're leaving a decade where we're getting, we're entering into a decade of sound. Mouth decrees, declares, okay? This is a shout out for the Esther Company, you powerful Esther women, you Deborah Akarian mantle women who are taking territory, who aren't selling out. You're not going to give in to what your girlfriends are giving in to. Mm -mm, nah. Okay, do to your inventory. Look at their life, okay? And just see. Learn from other people's mistakes. Ooh, did I say that? Did I say learn from other people's mistakes? Come on now. It's all about choice. This is an awesome word. I've never received nothing like this, I promise you. Uh, my friend Kathy is helping me print out a journal that I wrote that took me six years to write for women. Nothing like that. This is on a whole nother level. Because you guys are on a whole nother level. You ain't, man. Okay. Isaiah 44 and 45 are the chapters that I read. Check out Isaiah 45 verse 3. You ready? Here you go. And I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden wealth in secret places. What? There's hidden wealth in secret places? that he's going to give us for us in order that you may know that it is I, the Lord, the Lord, the God of Israel, who calls you by your name. What? The Esther company has been called by name. He's going to give you hidden. Tra you, you see where I'm getting with this? Okay. All right, here we go. I'm not going to let this really go over because I'm busy today, but this is for you, Esther Company. And I, I even got the hat to hide to get up and go look, okay? All right. That's how important you girls are, okay? You guys are worth it. You're worth the hiding to get up and go look, okay? Yes, my son, coming out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Mike Garcia. And guess what it was written in? Purple. Purple. Guess what purple means? Royalty, baby. <laughs> okay, here you go. 9, 12, 19. That was yesterday. Mike Garcia, pen of a ready writer. 
Yes, my son, I do have... <laughs> I'm sorry. Just something about that with me and him. It's a, just a personal thing between me and him. I just felt him saying, you go for it, kid. You go for it, son. Just something special me and him have together. Sorry. Let me get back on track here. Try wipe my tears. Yes, my son, I have a word for you, my beloved Esther Company. So write and write in the name of the Lord. Oh, yes, I have plenty to say to my Esther Company. Let the purple rain upon you all. Yes, let me clothe you with purple linen. My purple linen is available for you all to wear. Do not hesitate to clothe yourselves with my festive robes of purple linen. Yes, even look it up. Look it up. Many purple, my, my purple, my purple linen is very selective. Not all can wear it. Not all carry what is necessary to wear it. And wear it with great fashion. Nicole, fashion, okay. Now let me bring out the great fashion in you. Ooh. Yes, it is an internal work. Yes, let it begin. Do not re resist it. It's all good. Yes, very good. Do not hesitate to believe that what I have for you is better than what anyone else can bring you or give you. Oh, yes, and they will try. Be on the lookout for such things. Do not hesitate to recognize what I'm talking about. Do not compromise your wardrobe. Oh, Lord, I got to hit that one. That I have given you, I have mantled all of you. Yes, my beloved Esther company with a purple robe. Woo. Yes, my royalty robe. Yes, you have been selected. You have always been selected for greatness, for royalty. Yes, even majesty. Yes, I am your creator. I am the fashion designer of all times. Everything I design turns to gold. Yes, purified gold. You are my golden girls. Oh, yes, you are. Clothed in fine linen of purple. Receive it. Yes, receive it with great gladness. Do not hesitate to receive the very words that I am speaking to you. I am the creator. And I have created royalty. Yes, I have. Now, wear what I have said to you. Yes, wear it proudly. You wear it like you know it. You are my beloved and my beloved is mine. <laughs> Love your heavenly father. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See, you know, nobody ever has. I've never received anything like this. Okay. Well, I'm going to whip out a purple. Is this purple? Purple. <laughs> Okay, let royalty reign upon you. Let God shower you with his presence. Let me tell you something. Spend the time, get to section out 15, 30 minutes of a little time. I say, Lord, shower me with your presence. Show me your royalty. Bring the royalty. Don't go by feelings. Let me tell you something. Your feelings will deceive you 100% of the time. Oh, Lord. Mm-mm. You want to put on some royalty? Okay. I'll tell you how. Get into the presence of the Lord. He's your creator. Oh, he'll meet you there. He'll go there with you. Man, I'll tell you. <laughs> don't get me going there. He'll go there with you. You can bring him any of your problems. Yes, you can. He understands you better than you understand yourself. He's waiting for that moment with you. Okay. Do not hesitate to close yourselves with Jesus. See, put on Jesus is putting on your purple robe. Oh. We're talking about the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. There is no higher A numeral N, top notch, the best, the best. He earned it. You know why? He sacrificed everything he had himself. Okay? Thank God we're on the winning side. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Father. Put him on daily. Come on, girls. You guys know what that is. Not all can wear it. 
it's available. Listen to this. It's available to all, but choice can keep you from it in your wardrobe. Hey, I sent some of you out of text. Come on. We're sons and daughters to a king, a real king. See, that's the part that people are missing. This is a real king. He's a real king. He's a real, it's a real kingdom. Why would we want to live like dogs? Why would we want to live like slaves and beggars? When I have a father, he's the king of kings and the Lord of lords, and I am his son, and he only wants the best for me. And you know what the hardest part is? Getting you to believe it. Getting you to understand it. You know, where do we get all these ideas? It's in the Bible. Your identity has everything to do with the word of God, okay? All right. Don't hesitate to believe that Father has thing, better things and plans for you than anyone else can bring you or give you. Be on the lookout. Recognize it. Do not hesitate to believe what I have for you is better than what anyone else can bring you or give you. Oh, yes, and they will try. Be on the lookout for such things. Do not, act, do not hesitate to recognize it. Let me tell you something. The minute you start believing that God has something better for you, guess what? Here comes the imposters. Guess what? Here comes Mr. Slim Shady. Mr. Thinking he's all that. And all he's on a mission. He's on a mission. And all he wants to do is derail you. Man, that's why we need the Holy Spirit discernment. To know. Imposter, check mark. Get out of here. I'm not selling out, giving up, giving out on anything but what my king has for me. And right now he has a purple robe for me to wear. Wear it proudly. You've all been selected for greatness. You know what? I'll tell you what. I don't care what other voices that are trying to tell you anything different. You have been selected for greatness. You know what? Because the Bible says so. You know, it, it, it's going to come down to choice. Choose, choose, choose. Choose, choose. I would rather choose what God says about me. Man, I've struggled so many years with my identity because I never had a father that would tell me anything, you know, like, go for it, son. You were created for such things, for greater things than what you're currently living. I never had that, you know. But And I don't blame my dad for that. He just didn't have something. He can't give me what he didn't have. But once you started recognizing, okay, I have a heavenly father. <laughs> what does he say about me? Oh, Lord. We're taking some ter we're gonna take some territory. Okay. You have been selected for greatness, don't you ever forget it. He is the fashion designer of all times. Let him fashion you into his purified golden vessel that he will put on display. Okay, the process and the journey we're going through is all about him purifying us. Because everything he everything he, he creates, it turns to gold. And gold is no good hidden in the ground. Gold gets its value the minute it gets on your neck as a necklace, the minute it gets on your ring. Ooh. Then comes the diamonds. Eh, eh, eh. For those of you waiting for the diamond. <laughs> How about that on a ring? Oh, okay, man, you guys are getting me off. See what happens with see what happens when we start talking about royalty? A lot of things are happening. Number seven. Okay, hold on. He's the fashion designer. Let him fashion you. Even Queen Esther had to go through a process, okay? Let him surrender to the process. Surrender to Father. Man, I'm telling you, he's designing, man. He, you, you're his golden girls. That's a 100% accurate. 100%. Don't go by feelings. See, you know what the beautiful thing about God is? When he begins to tell you who you are, guess what? It has nothing to do with how you feel. It has everything to do with who he created you to be. He created you. He knows the beginning from the end. You were with him before you came to earth. So he knows that you're destined for greatness. He's just trying to get us to believe it. He addresses this all the time. He ain't speaking to your circumstances. He ain't speaking to what you're involved in. He ain't say, if it's not pleasing to God. Okay, that's part of the process, girls. You know that. Come on. The diamond in the rough. Okay. Wear what you have been given proudly. Hey, come on, girls. We shifted. I'm just going to close with that. I, you know, what am I going to call this? Okay, I'm just going to close with this. 14 minutes in. All right. Wear it proudly. 
deny God before man and he will deny you. Deny Jesus before man and he will deny you before his father. Man, uh -uh. we're not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus, guys. We're not ashamed that, hey, man, I ain't, mm -mm. I'm holding out. I'm wearing my royalty robe. I can't be rolling like that anymore. I can't be doing that stuff no more. I, I No, that ain't me no more. I'm sorry. That's my past. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And my father says, don't worry about the past no more. Behold, I do a new thing in you. You are the new thing. Man, <laughs> you are the new thing. You, yeah. Man, God just wants you to put on your robe of identity that you are his and he is yours. Let it rain. Purple linen. I love you, girls. God bless you. Shalom, shalom. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Nothing missing, nothing broken in your life, in your personal life. Come on now. God bless you on this Friday, September 13th. God bless you, Mike Garcia, pen of a ready writer. Go get them, girls.